Hey Brad, this is your April 2024 message for the month ahead. Everything you need to hear, see, feel, and know so that you can get happy, take action, and enjoy the journey to get towards your goal and your manifestation. So it looks like for your soul level lesson, like what's going on this month, it's like that balance between loving something and when to take action versus when to sit back and let it do its thing. The best analogy I can give you is like a farmer. You could love growing vegetables and love farming, but standing over the vegetable all day, 24 seven is gonna do like no good. Um, being impulsive, taking action to, it must need water now, when like you just watered it 20 hours ago, you know that if you ever water a plant, it might die. So you're definitely learning that balance between, <sighs> Even when you love something, when do you take action versus when do you give it space? Um, you know, and if this is actually a relationship for you, it's that interplay between, oh God, what are the psychology terms? Interdependence, autonomy. I can't think of the psychology terms for it, but it's when you're like coupled up a we versus when your time's apart. Right now, it's kind of like we're apart. Wait, but babe, I still love you. And if you're like blowing up the person's phone, texting all day, every day, when the person, you know, has communicated like, hey, I love you. I want to stay in contact. I just keep in mind that I am at work and I can only really check it at like lunchtime and when I get off, um, then it becomes a problem, you know? So... Yeah, because it looks like the reason why that's kind of like your personal development or soul level lesson this month, because the human level lesson, like what's going on here is like, you don't have all the information you need. And I'm going to say you don't have all the information that you needed, because it looks like in your recent past, you kind of had to walk away from something and it probably was a relationship. Um, if it wasn't a, like a romantic relationship or a close friendship, like you really loved the job then. Whatever you, you, you did have to walk away from something in your recent past. Um, and it kind of looks like you were like plowing ahead. Like it's okay that we have that, dis that difference, like love conquers all. Um, when in like, maybe it was a bigger deal to the other person though. And if you were saying something like, that's not that big of a deal. We can work that out. But if it was a big deal to them. So there was just like this little bit of like quick energy, decisiveness, like let's just go. All the pieces are there. But maybe they were like, you know, for an analogy, maybe you were a 200 piece puzzle and they wanted a relationship that felt more like a 500 piece puzzle. Maybe they just wanted more moving parts and they wanted more time to get to know you. But it was, you know, so it just kind of looks like, you were moving a little bit too fast, not letting it go. And like, it kind of, honestly, it sounds like the other person felt maybe, I don't want to use the word smothered, but they just didn't necessarily feel like there was ample time to allow things to come up. Like the best kind of analogy I could give you, especially if you're a guy watching this, it's like sometimes when I go on a first date with a guy, I like to like sit and marinate on it and like the next day, so a full 24 hours later after I've like gone to sleep and woken up, then it's like, yeah, that was actually a really good date. But if you're like texting me the rest of the day to try to hang out again, it's like, well, let me simmer on this. Let me see how I like felt truly, not just like caught up in the impulsiveness of it. Um, yeah, so it looks like in the past you had to walk away from something. I hope that those lessons that I just shared with you certainly help you for the next person or if there's a second chance with this person just to sometimes you got to like say your piece and, and like be okay that like I know that was a lot to throw on you. It's okay. Like take some time. Think about it. Come back. When do you think would be a reasonable time for us to for me to hear your side of the story? Like some people take information in right away and are like, boom, here's the answer. Other people are a little bit more like emotional. So like I, everything will be like five emotions. They have to go sit and like feel into how they feel about it. It takes them longer to process. Um, some people are like, you know, verbalize externally by talking about it, sharing with the other person. And other people like to take information in and then go think about it. So this person was just someone who needed a little bit like more space and time. Um, cause it looks like right now,
it looks like right now you're really starting to wake up to like how good the other person was and like how loving they were and how loving they were like trying to be. Man, I'm sorry, Libra. I'm sorry. This is not a fun message um, at all to give to you guys, but I hope the lessons I shared with you certainly help you for your next relationship or if you guys come back together. Um, going into the near future, Ooh, ah, it, ooh. <laughs> going into the near future, it looks like you're having a little bit of a like blow to the ego, a little bit of like that hindsight is 2020 where someone realizes like, oh my God, I was peer pressuring them or like, dang, I was kind of like pushing them past their comfort level and bullying a little bit. Um, so it, it just kind of looks like you're like, wow, well, that was like fast and furious and sucked that it's over. And oh, I see how I contributed to it. Um, so sorry, Libra. It looks like your personal power this month. I wouldn't say fully, fully. It's not looking hopeful, but I wouldn't say fully give up on it because your personal power is the two of water. So that's where... Like your personal power is not to like rush back in and do action. Like, no, let's sit down and talk about this. No, come on. That's not a big deal. Your personal power is, is to like actually take a pause, take in the argument, the disagreement, whatever it was. And especially if you're in a place of not understanding why they walked away, like it was so good. Why did they walk away? Can you sit back and take a moment? And think about it from their point. Get out of your shoes. Get out of your emotions and go, okay, if I were in their shoes, what could I be thinking? What could I be feeling? And then you'll get epiphanies like, oh, maybe that was a bigger deal to them. They did bring it up three times and each time I dismissed it. So maybe to me on a scale of like one to 10, that was a three. But maybe to them that was a big deal. And if I kept dismissing it, I could see why they felt like they had to walk away. I should have listened more so that that way when you, if you come back and approach them, it could be, Hey, I had a lot of time to think about what happened between us. And I just really wanted to apologize that, you know, I didn't listen to you more on X, Y, Z topic. I realized I kind of dismissed that and that must, that kind of felt good for you. And just like be quiet, see what they say. Cause they might be like, Oh my God, yes, I'm so glad you said it. I thought, you know, or they might go, Oh, well, that's actually not the issue that bothered me. It was actually this. And then let your approach be to ask questions like, well, how did that make you feel? Is there anything more? Can I ask what would your, your ideal situation look like? Can I ask um, what makes that such, have such importance to you? And then, it's, and then you could like gain understanding like, oh, I see. So Friday night is like the only time you get to have one-on-one -on -one time with your daughter. So when I kept pressuring you for dates and I was accusing you of cheating when like that's literally your only time to hang out with her alone, I'm so sorry. So it's not a, we need to like figure out this Friday date night thing. You kept blowing me off. You were the one blowing me off. You see the difference of the kind of conversation? So your personal power is to try to like have some empathy, think about it from their point of view and like try to guess at what upset them so much to the point to where it led you guys to walk away. Um, in terms of others influences, I don't know what to say, but other people around you are happy. It's almost, it, it's like you just went through a breakup, but like your sister's getting married. Like it kind of looks like something like that is going on right now. So it kind of like they're too much in their la la happy land that they can't even really be there for you that much right now. Um, which sorry, Libra, but I hope this tarot video is helping you. <laughs> in terms of your hopes or fears this month, it kind of looks like you're at a place where you're like, I don't want to be alone. Like you're kind of over the bachelor or bachelor phase of your life. And you're like, no, I don't want to say when will I see you again? I want to say, I'll see you at home. Um, you're just, you're kind of starting to realize that maybe I'm the problem. Maybe there's something I need to change to be better in relationship. I know I don't want to be alone, which that, that's a good spot to be in. Cause that could, that could be a space where it leads to a lot of introspection 
that makes you better. And, you know, even like self-admittedly, I was on a dating app and I matched with a guy and I, just, I had too much going on that week. Um, and instead of just telling him like, hey, look, I've got a lot going on this weekend. I have my niece as well. She's only four. I tend to be exhausted after her. I know I'll need like that, that evening to recover. So I was like, no, 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 we'll chat Sunday evening. Well, Monday rolled around. I was like, hey, look, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Um, I was caught up with my niece and I was so tired and so drained. He went, uh, you kind of stood me up. And I just I was like, I was like, all I can say is I'm like, I'm really sorry. Um, please forgive me. Can we schedule another time? Because from my point of view, it's like we haven't even had a first phone call yet. We ha- There's no connection. But it was when he just unmatched, I had to think back. I was like, why would he just unmatch? And then I realized, oh, damn, I was kind of rude. I should have sent a message like, bro, I know we said we'd chat tonight. I'm so sorry. I took my, I took my niece to a, a, a gym and I am utterly exhausted. Can like, can we meet tomorrow instead? Like that's all it would have taken, right? So that introspection is, is good and helps you be better for the next person who's probably more of your person. Um, in terms of the outcome for this month, you got the 10 of fire, reversed. When the Ten of Fire is upright, that's where there's like, you're, in, you're potentially in burnout. You just got too much going on. You know, you have a house renovation, a new promotion at work and, you know, fights with the girlfriend and you're like, how do I solve it? But it's reversed. So I want to say it's more like this is a big wake up call for you recognizing how important a long-term stable relationship is for you. And like, unfortunately, you just have a lot on your plate right now that you may not be able to dedicate a lot of time to get that person back if they're even open to it. Um, so you've got a lot going on and it's going to be like a, a wake up moment. And you know, guys tend to go through this a little bit later in life than girls do it's when they like prioritize work and they go all in at work and then because they get a lot of their social needs met at work, but maybe their significant other doesn't. They're like, I need more time with you. I need more time with you. And they're like, oh, you need to go develop outside friends. When they leave, you're going to be like, oh, I'm so caught up in work. I don't have time to go get them. And now I realize how valuable they are. Or another way that could play out is you're like, oh man, she was trying to distract me from my mission and, you know, bros before hoes. <laughs> but what happens when you leave that workplace? You lose all your friends too. Maybe you'll keep, keep in contact with one or two, but as the years go on, if you're not working together, you don't keep in as much contact. And then the next workplace you go, oh, but this is my family. This is my new family. Let me go all in. And then what happens when you leave again? Or what happens when some of your coworkers leave? you lose those close relationships. So you're really going to start to fully value the personal relationships that are more like family, wife, girlfriend. Um, like you're just going to start, this is, this is your wake up call, Libra. Um, I really hope this helps Libra. Drop me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. If you want more of me, there's two ways. One's free, one's paid. I go live every Tuesday, 11 a.m. in my Facebook group and my Facebook page, um, for free, 11 a.m. Eastern standard time. And I also have one-on-one sessions available right now. I'll make sure to link to those in the description for you. You can book and schedule at the same time so that we get you in as soon as we can. All right, but I hope you guys have a good day and look forward to your next reading.